beloved of the Most High God, it is an honor and privilege to be with you on this edition of Open Heaven Reflections. Taken from our daily devotional guide, Open Heaven, written by the General Overseers of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboy. My name is Susan Olorotimi, a pastor of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Living Spring Center in North London. The topic for today, a beautiful topic, is the wise and the foolish. And the Bible passage is taken from the book of Judges, chapter 16, verses 15 to 21. Judges 16, 15 to 21. Then she said to him, How can you say I love you when your heart is not with me? You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. And it came to pass when she pestered him daily with her words and pressed him, so that his soul was vexed to death, that he told her all his heart and said to her, No razor has ever come upon my head, for I have been a Nazarite to God from my mother's womb. If I am shaven, then my strength will leave me, and I shall become weak and be like any other man. When Delilah saw that he had told her all his heart, she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, saying, Come up once more, for he has told me all his heart. So the lords of the Philistines came up to her and brought the money in their hand. Then she lured him to sleep on her knees and called for a man and had him shave off the seven locks of his head. Then she began to torment him and his strength left him. And she said, the Philistines are upon you, Samson. So he awoke from his sleep and said, I will go out as before at other times and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had departed from him. Then the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. They bound him with bronze fetters and he became a grinder in the prison. Our memory verse is taken from the book of Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 22. Thessalonians 5 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Our reflection for today is through a piece of information, knowledge is imparted. That is why people and big organizations pay a lot of money to acquire information. Through information, they have a weapon called knowledge. They know that all they now need to do is to apply the knowledge correctly and their success will be guaranteed. Wisdom is the correct application of the knowledge acquired, while foolishness is the incorrect application of the same knowledge. Two people may have the same knowledge in their possessions, but the way and manner with which each person applies this knowledge will classify the person as a wise or a fool. So the question to ask is, are you a fool or a wise person? For you to be able to answer that question properly, it will be assumed that you have gained access to some knowledge. In our Bible reading for today, Samson was pestered daily by Delilah to reveal to her the source of his strength. In truth, we were told that three times Delilah had been fooled. The Bible says in verse 15, Then she said to him, You have mocked me these three times and have not told me where your great strength lies. From this verse, it was clear that Delilah had made her intentions clear and had invited the Philistines three times to come and capture Samson. On each of these occasions, they had been defeated and Delilah had looked like a fool. But we now know who the greater fool was, Samson. He refused to correctly apply the knowledge that Delilah was out to betray him into the hands of the Philistines and he eventually suffered and died for his foolishness. Our memory verse says we should abstain from all evil appearances. You will be a wise person if you hear this warning and you will spend your life in peace. Our prayer point for today is that Father, have mercy upon me and help me to act with wisdom at all times. Let your wisdom be upon me to be able to know what to do, when to do and how to do it. And I pray that as you open up your heart to pray this prayer, the almighty God will 
fill you with his wisdom from above in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for being with us today. Have a wonderful time and see you in the near future. Bye.